Is everything all right? I can hear tires screeching. These windows have great visibility. Wouldn't you agree? You wouldn't even know they were there. Indeed. They're 110 millimeters thick, too. 100% Wurzai. Just as fast on land as in the water. Worst case scenario, she can even move without wheels. And our driver's more than her good looks. She's got 42 manuals worth of emergency protocol committed to memory. Not bad, huh, Mr. Oscar? No need for a mister. Asuka, then. Anyway, this car you've chosen for your little hitchhike could put any tank to shame. My only complaint is that I can't find an insurance company to cover it. Do you know why that is? Well, um, yes I do. Because you are the 76th President of the United States, and this is your personal car. A little flashier than I would have chosen on my way to propose demilitarization at G4, but nonetheless. I agree with you there. <sighs> I do apologize for forcing my way in like this. I had considered alternative approaches, but... Save the explanation for later. For now, we need to get all these eyes off us. Our intrepid reporters can confirm firsthand that the gear maker is currently seated in the president's that car. That is correct. It seems that the most heinous criminal in history, commonly known as that man, may have surrendered himself into United While States While we haven't been able to get a clear view of the situation, witnesses are reporting that he was speaking with the, the mastermind president. behind now, the there's a possibility crime that during this the may crusade. be a copycat. The monikers that man and the gear maker should be familiar to his anyone true who's ever opened a history mystery, text. I don't know. Some speculate that he may be involved with the United States expected Demilitarization and Citizens have started to gather in protest, resulting in confusion. Be wary of the yeah, spread of unfounded incident. speculation. As of now, we don't have any confirmation. He's a man of many names, but perhaps we should call him by the one most familiar to us. The Devil. Vultures, all of them. I can spot prey from a mile away. Oh, actually, I leaked the story to them. You don't say. Wait, huh? I hate to say it, but you heard that right. It was a necessity. I want my actions to be just as transparent as the glass of this window. I know that my request is unreasonable, but... You call it a request. With all those eyes on us, this is a demand. You might not realize, but if the pen is mightier than the sword, then the microphone's stronger than a cannon. You're supposedly the mastermind behind a hundred-year war. Whether that's true or not, it's what the people believe. If the victims of that conflict or their families are nearby, they aren't just here to get a look at you. Huh? Get down! So it is you. That's a negative, boss. Looks like the other one is in Illyria. Skies sure are clear. We're going to need a 43rd manual, Mr. President. Worry about that after Mr. Asuka, they say that there's nothing you can't do. So what could you possibly want from us? Confinement. For you? I don't think there's a cell in this world that could hold you. No. Not for me. For the Tome. The Tome? You mean the Tome of Origin? To be more precise, I need a place that cannot be accessed by any outside force. One that cannot be forced open by any weapon or spell, no matter how strong. Now I see. So, like Alcatraz? No, Mr. President. He's referring to an even safer location. The Presidential Emergency Operations Center. In other words, the White House. Mr. Asuka, hmm? I won't ask you to walk with your eyes closed, but try to save your curiosity for the guided tour. Oh, right. I really don't mean to be so uptight, but this is a highly restricted area, which is, to be fair, exactly what you asked for. The most difficult room in the world to enter.
though I hope you don't expect five-star luxury. So it's just through this door? No, that room's just a room. You could just open the door and walk right out for a coffee. Quite the antique, isn't it? The White House hasn't changed since the Crusades. It's got little shelters and hideaways all over the place. I'm rather used to this sort of environment. Meanwhile, I don't even know what's safe to touch. Good. It hasn't changed. Oscar. Coming. This should suit me perfectly. Do you have many friends? I'm afraid that all private communication from this bunker is strictly forbidden. Signal blocking, I presume? That's right. Communication's less forbidden than it is impossible. This room uses 13th generation AES encryption, the highest standard of security in the universe. So, make your personal calls now, before your friends start to wonder where you've disappeared to. Oh, uh, thank you, but... I don't believe that will be necessary. He's awfully unassuming for the devil. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed, to be honest. Ah! Whoa. What are you- Don't panic. See? N sorry. Now, Oscar. I think I've got a good read on you. I've seen that you're a good man. The people who don't know you may say you're the devil, but it doesn't seem like you're looking to cause trouble. That's why I opted to grant your request. But now that I've done so, mind telling me why you're really here? You said that you wanted to protect the tome. Do you intend to remain within these walls forever? We aren't idiots. We realize that your surrender coincides with the G4 summit. And you'll be right under the representatives from the four most powerful nations in the world. So what exactly do you intend to do? Rather than protecting the tome, per se, I want to erase it from mankind's history. It's been done before. Are you familiar with Project Tir Nanag? Impossible. That's just an urban legend. Fill me in. <sighs> People say there's a massive strategic weapon hidden somewhere within the White House. But that's a completely unfounded rumor. As the former president, Miss Bartholomew, you would know. It is indeed mere gossip. But what makes it a rumor of note is that the truth is far more surprising. The Crusades may be over, but many sad relics of the era remain, lying dormant and undiscovered, some of which are extremely dangerous. I consider it my duty to eliminate them all. Huh? And you intend to raise this issue at G4? The blame for the Crusades rests solely on my shoulders. I put humanity on the brink of extinction. There is very little difference between a good statue and an evil bystander. For too long, I've chosen to avert my eyes. But if there are two things I truly need to erase from this world... They are the Tome of Origin.
and so bad guy. I'm not certain about this room just yet, but everything else is just as I remember it. Finally. I'm finally here. Asuka R. Kreutz. For the first time ever, you exist. Eno, you say? Yeah. Your former ally has been detained by the Illyrian government. It's a real weight off my shoulders. You don't look too happy about it, though. I once promised her a future. However, it seems I took too long to deliver. She chose to leave me. So you feel responsible? In part, yes. But... The Eno I know would never let herself be captured so easily. I imagine they're interrogating her right now. So why don't we save the anxiety-inducing conversations for after she's escaped? The Gear Maker, Mr. Asuka R. Kreutz. Thank you. I don't intend to waste your time by introducing myself. Please turn to your pre-provided materials and... Oh. Forgive me, I couldn't help but notice that there was no mention of certain recent incidents, so I went ahead and added that information personally. I attempted to maintain objectivity as best I could. I trust you'll find it agreeable. Uh, thank you. But when did you have the time? <laughs> he lives up to his nickname. People call him the King of Groundwork. They do. He's awkward. Yeah. Whatever I imagined, it wasn't this. May we continue? This is most puzzling. This story of yours conflicts with history as we've come to know it, and the incident reports we've seen. Indeed. According to these documents, you're more of a guardian angel than a devil. I'll give you this much. Regardless of the veracity of what you've shared with us, you do have a way with words. This is incredibly detailed and easy to understand. Which raises a question. If you merely wish to share this information with us, you easily could have written this up, signed it, tossed it in the mail and been done with it. I believe that a document alone might have been somewhat lacking in credibility. Not to be rude, but I'm sure you realize that we can't take your words at face value either. So why risk a lifetime of imprisonment by showing up here? I must admit, it has us curious. That's certainly fair. I'm here because... I have a request for all of you. A request? That's right. Though having this conversation may bring us rushing to our main point of order. Is that all right with everyone? The Tome of Origin. As the name would imply, everything sprang forth from its pages. This book makes anything possible. It granted magic to mankind, crafted our future, and with it, the risk of our downfall. The Tome itself, however, has no will. It provides what is asked of it, urging caution as it complies. Of course, its power is too great for mankind to wield. Under my authority as its current owner, I intend to dispose of the tome. Oh. We obviously understand the dangers the tome poses. But is such an extreme measure necessary? Could we not conceal or protect it? Perhaps, if not for those who would desire and seek it. Huh. The Tome has such tremendous potential. It could help us build a better future. You would toss aside its value as well as its danger. Value? What value could it hold that we currently lack? For example, what value does this $10 bill hold? 
you could treat yourself to a little something. Well, to the extremely rich, it's hardly worth the paper it's printed on. On the other hand, in the country of Valupia, this one bill could feed an entire family for three months. Value changes based on where you stand. Before we seek out an uncertain future, we must attend to things in the present. Well, aren't you a romantic? Is this meant to be your atonement? No. My venture. My final venture as a scientist. And so begins at long last. My world peace experiment. What the heck? Wait. Who are you? Oh, don't tell me you've forgotten about little old me. I suppose that's fair, given the state I'm in now. Man, do I ever want to have a nice long chat with you. But that'll have to wait. Damn it. It's not connecting. Did he truly shut down the system on his own? But how is any of this possible? Not only did he know of happy chaos... ...person could pull this off. Right, Asuka? True. Are you alright? I wish. They got me locked down. I'm here with Vernon. Good to hear. You rescued him, I presume? Keep him safe at all costs. If the enemy truly is after the tome, we cannot afford to let him have it. There's something I gotta know. Can just about anybody read the tome? They cannot. Only me. And Chaos. He's my teacher. History's first and strongest magic wielder. The original. His appearance and demeanor have changed considerably. But his aptitude for magic is undeniable. Uh, great. So we're headed for the worst case scenario. Headed for? Is that some kind of joke? How could things get any worse than they already are? Chaos's goal is to make Eno complete. Eno. You thinking what I'm thinking? Chaos already has Eno's other half. There's no way. My teacher would never do such a thing. Fine. Then what do you think his next step is? <sighs> All right. I'll give it some thought. Meanwhile, please try to stay safe. This wouldn't be a bad place to fight, but we don't have an escape route either. We might end up moving, depending on how things shake out. I'll pray for your safety. Gearmaker? Frederick? Did you make this call? No, it seems to be some sort of special open channel. So, we need to shoot down the White House ourselves before that happens. I have followed the will of my teacher for long enough. I'll fight too. What? I'm not sure if I can pull it off, but I'll try to take control of the aircraft. I'll buy you some time. Focus on finding the escape pods. Understood. He's got a hundred years of experience on me. Can I make up the difference? And if he's making a move now... So, Asuka, you finally remembered me. It's been quite a long time, teacher. <laughs> this isn't how I imagined our reunion. What in the world happened to you? Where have you been? Why are you trying to grant Eno power? Oh. I remember teaching you to ask one question at a time. Well, I've got one for you too. You know the White House's even bigger secret, don't you? What was your plan, I wonder? You taught me not to answer a question with a question. What changed you? Humans can't stay sane in isolation. Gave me a few epiphanies, though. What do you think a sane person is, anyway? Someone who wouldn't try to take over the White House. Should I be proud you've learned to banter? Let me rephrase the question. 
Say someone is locked up in a small, pure white room with no doors or windows. For a year, no, maybe even longer. They've got food and drink, no illnesses or injuries. They can even make calls to whomever they'd like. A voice speaks to them from above. You must not leave. No one else can, so you mustn't either. Then one day, a door to the outside suddenly appears. And now, my question. What would a sane person do? <sighs> the way I see it, this era is making a ton of these white rooms. There's certainly a better solution than breaking down the walls. You've learned to talk back. You're not the only one who's changed. I've become... the devil. You're Eno's other half. You're so perceptive with everything but relationships. But why? If you do this, you'll disappear in the end, too. Why would you go so far to help Eno? You still don't get it, do you? You still think of me and Eno as your enemies. I thought I'd tell you to be open-minded. Eno was born in a white room, and she's been looking for the exit this whole time. She can pretend to be human, but her feelings dried up long ago. She shows us where humans are headed. Left with an eternal, insatiable thirst, affirming ourselves will lose all meaning. When everything became possible, we lost our ability to accomplish anything. But she still says she wants a future. If this world holds value, then I will show it to her at all costs! Is this... <sighs> Oscar! Frederick. You all right? I passed out for a bit. Where's the president? Right here. Oh, thank goodness. It's been activated. And evacuate with the gear maker. Yeah. Oscar, hurry before chaos gets here. Vernon E. Robins. Three crests verified. Opening locks. So, it's open. Huh. How? And here I was, hoping for another plot twist. I thought so. No! so far now Oscar a climactic duel between master and disciple doesn't make a terrible ending that's true I would have liked to have spent more time together but that will have to wait what the hell Frederick!
something wrong. This craft doesn't have enough power to take off again. I'd ask you all to take rescue crafts away from here. Asuka. Can you not touch back down? Or do you not want to? Please believe me. I didn't want to do things this way. But you will have to suffice as my witness. What the... witness? Mr. President, Tir Nanog was not designed for air travel. The true purpose of this craft was interplanetary transportation. Interplanetary? Correct. When things were looking bleak during the Crusades, some senior officials planned to abandon our planet. So that's what Project Tir Nanog was all about. The space colony it was intended to dock at is already complete. It has enough supplies to take care of 400 people for 120 years. I... I intend to take the tome there. But, but why? No one there will seek or desire the tome. I can discard it at last. Then we can just stuff the tome in a spacesuit. There's no need for you to go with it. I appreciate your kindness. However... <clears throat> Have you forgotten my other goal? Getting rid of soul. Whoa! Uh, hold on, Asuka! That was just a hypothetical, wasn't it? You promised you'd give me a proper explanation. As with the Tome, our world has no need for his power. Bullshit! Tell me, who is Soul gonna hurt? Himself. Huh? What if I said it was none of your damn business? <sighs> I may craft a persuasive dissertation, but I've always had trouble choosing words others could understand. So I took a lesson from you, and chose to fight. Let's settle things between us right now! <sighs> sure. Have it your way. I was all primed to fight a magic wielder today anyway. You're right. I've always wanted things my way. Even when I planted this divine seed in you. But now, I'll correct that mistake. If you don't want that, then don't hesitate. Shake off my hand. And kill me. You satisfied? My greatest mistake was robbing Frederick and Arya of the time they could have spent together. However, now no one will rely on you as a weapon, nor as a hero. I should have done this a hundred years ago. <sighs> Mr. President, sole bad guy, the hero, has perished. This is Frederick Bulsara, an ordinary man. And you wanted the whole world to acknowledge that. Shit. <laughs> Nobody told me there'd be an encore performance. You really do need to get better at expressing yourself. Gear Mc... No. Asuka. Let me ask you something. Is this your accumulation of goodwill? Where did you hear that phrase? 
from Eno. No, that's something else altogether. Promise you won't laugh? Only if it's funnier than your space vacation idea. <laughs> radio. I wanted a radio show. Sorry, what? People want the most beautiful fruit, so we spend our lives looking above us. We fail to notice that our baskets are full, and that fruit is falling to the ground and bruising. The people who have realized this have tried finding ways to help. Both the Conclave and Ariels were searching for something. And in their search, they created opposition and conflict. We often misunderstand each other's feelings. We don't always agree. But we can't reject the other's entirety. What we lack is accurate knowledge. Accurate knowledge? 68,502,011 children, all under 14 years old, are being used for labor at this very moment. Orphans, slums, massacres, diseases, child soldiers, war. In the places we can see from up here in the sky, and across the borders we can only see on the map. Every day, people continue to be born. The Tome teaches about the nature of our world. What we need is not a call to action, but numbers. Just numbers, free from ideology, profit, and value. Clear numbers. The Tome grants the right to knowledge, and I simply observe those numbers. In the hopes that one day, I can call them the accumulation of goodwill. Is that what you meant? By creating world peace? Doesn't exactly sound like it's gonna top the charts. Fine. You can have it. What? When did you notice? I wrote this thing, remember? I noticed right away. The real tone... ...is right here. Kidding me? You. You fused with a tome? This was the safest way. Until today, maybe. Run, Frederick! You don't stand a chance against her! I see. Magic is the power to bend the rules of nature. If all of mankind were to have unfettered access to power on the scale of Enos... Slight though it may be. The blood of Judo? Jacko? Here. The world? Or me? What? It can't be. You! No. Damn it. No! You can't! I'm sorry that I couldn't live up to your expectations. To part of Aria. Life. I will now begin my first radio broadcast. This is all new to me, so I'm afraid I may not be very eloquent.